of the strike last night um, in Afghanistan. Uh, General Taylor just said that two high-profile targets were killed and one wounded. Uh, the initial announcements, I think, said one. Yep. Well, this was all the same strike. Was it a single strike? And can you explain any more about whether these individuals were directly involved in the Thursday bombing at Kabul airport? in Kabul, as it says, eliminating an in imminent ISIS-K threat to Hamad Karzai International Airport. That's just through, and our correspondent, Nomia Iqbal, is in Washington. Nomia, what more can you tell us? Yes, yeah, so we received the statement from the United States Central Command uh, confirming that this uh, defence strike did take place. It happened. Uh, it, it, it uh, happened on a vehicle in Kabul, and it was to eliminate an imminent ISIS K threat to the airport. Just to just to read the statement to you, uh, they said we are confident we successfully hit the target. Uh, they said that they are assessing the possibilities of civilian casualties, though they have no indication uh, at this time if anyone was killed. And and they are remaining vigilant for potential future threats. We don't know if uh, this was, uh, if they eliminated the threat that they warned about yesterday, which was that ISIS-K could hit in the next 24 to 36 hours. But of course, ISIS-K... strike that was carried out just a short while back targeting ISIS Khorasan's suicide bomber who was on his way to carry out an attack at the Kabul airport. Remember earlier the United States had confirmed that it had carried out uh, an airstrike targeting ISIS Khorasan terrorists. Two logistics experts uh, were killed in that attack that took place in eastern Afghanistan. That US drone strike had targeted the ISIS Khorasan outfit which had claimed responsibility for the 26th August explosion that took place at the Kabul airport. These are images from that residential area where this US military airstrike took place just a short while back, very close to the Kabul airport, targeting a suicide bomber who was on his way to carry out an attack at the Kabul airport. As reports had indicated and as the US had also uh, suggested, there was a credible threat of another attack taking place at the Kabul airport and the US military airstrike 
is now confirmed to have targeted uh, an ISIS Khorasan suicide bomber who was on his way to carry out an attack at the Kabul airport. These visuals showing the vehicle that was targeted in that U.S. military airstrike. Uh, this vehicle was to be used for the suicide attack at the Kabul airport just about 72 hours after that horrific attack on the 26th of August. Remember, over 180 people were killed in that explosion that took place at the Kabul airport. 13 U.S. service personnel were also killed in that attack. The United States had then...